Hi, this is Alex Backlin for harmonica.com and the topic of today's video is top fancy harmonica effects. I'm gonna talk about five advanced effects that are rarely used and hard to perform. And the first one is doing a six overblow and seven blow at the same time. So the effect sounds like this. You get that major second interval that sounds rough and edgy. It's a nice expression effect and you also can do a vibrato on it. By the way, I'm using an A harmonica. So how it is performed? I slightly open the mouth to the right to get the sound of the seventh hole and I make sure that uh, my tongue is in front of the sixth hole so that I keep the overblow. If you're playing the blues in second position, it also can be used along with six and seven draw, which is also a major second interval. Check this out. And a little bit of playing in context. The next effect is playing two draw bands and at the same time playing one draw clean. This effect sounds like this. There was a half tone band on two and here is a whole tone band. So it's actually really hard to perform this uh, effect because you always tend to bend the one draw also. So don't open your mouth too wide, just grab one draw slightly. And as in previous effect, make sure that your tongue is in front of two draw. I'm playing the B flat harmonica and you get notes C and E flat if you play the whole tone bend on two or C and E if you play a half tone bend on two. So you can support C minor or C major chord by playing those intervals. And in second position on the B flat harmonica, C is gonna be the five chord. So I'm gonna demonstrate how to support a simple progression one, four, four, five, like this. advanced tone blocking. This is a technique that includes varying the amount of holes you block by moving your tongue. Howard Levy is a perfect example. Check him out playing Jesu Joy of Man's Desiring. I'm back to an A harmonica and here's a piece from it. So how I would recommend it to practice. Pick two intervals and switch between them. For example, hole one and five and hole one and four. And right after go to inhale. Then back to exhale and loop it. Then you can go to wider intervals like 1 and 6 holes and 1 and 5. Do it with metronome. I recommend using harmonicas with shorter distance between holes like Honer Marine Bands. And the bigger the interval, the deeper the harmonica is gonna be in your mouth. The next effect is voicing while you play. So basically, I turn on my vocal cords and sing notes while I play harmonica. 
although it requires good intonation, so you probably would need to practice vocal separately if you haven't done so. You can choose an interval on the harmonica, like a fifth or an octave, and produce a note with your vocal cords. A little example. And the last effect, breathing with your mouth, not with your diaphragm. This effect can allow you to play fast notes in the high register of the harmonica. It sounds like this. Here I just use my mouth, no diaphragm. The diaphragm was breathing on its own. As high notes on the harmonica don't require much air, while you play fast, you can uh, use mouth breathing, which has a faster attack than diaphragm breathing. Here's how it sounds on the chord. So as the air goes inside of your mouth and doesn't go further, uh, your cheeks will blow and your jaw will drop down when you inhale with your mouth and the opposite will happen when you exhale. You can combine it with diaphragm breathing, like this. So I did those with my mouth. It's much easier to do those things than with diaphragm. And you also can do buzzing-like effects in the low register of the harmonica. This is Alex Backlin for harmonica.com. I hope you liked the video and I'm gonna see you next time. Take care.